Say we don't have just one shots. We have sounds that we actually want to loop and sounds that move around and say it's an engine sound or in our case it'll be a light humming sound. How do we make those actually loop and then how do we stop them when they need to be stopped? So in order to loop a sound we're going to have to add that to our function. So why don't we put it right after volume and we're going to create a bool called loop and then in our code block we're going to right below volume set my audio source dot loop is set to loop and let's go ahead and actually make loop default to false because most sounds don't loop and you just want to play one shot so now you only have to know if you want to make a sound loop, we're going to overread this to be able to loop. So now let's go back into the light bulb, and when we turn the light on, we're going to play another sound. We're going to play light hum clip. And after our volume, we're going to set loop to true. Great. Now, light hum will loop. Now, we have to... Ah, see, now there's an error because we're setting the spatial blend, but we're missing a parameter. So we actually have to add that in and set loop to false if we want to use the spatial param the spatial blend parameter. So now back in the Unity editor, we're going to go to spheres and we're going to choose a sound for the orbs to loop. And we have orb right here. We can just pull those right onto audio clip. Ah, let's make sure all three of them are selected. Great. Now, there will be a humming sound when we turn the orbs on. So I put the sound here because we do want, the, want it to play when we have all three turned on for the final orb, but we also need to put it here for every other orb. Now the sounds are stacking. Because we don't have a stop function, the sounds keep stacking. When the orbs go off, the sound doesn't stop, but we need it to stop. So we need to create our own stop function. To create our own stop function, we have to set things up in a little more complicated way. One of the difficult things about looping sounds, especially in this scenario, is that we have to keep track of where the audio source is. So we're going to set it up to do that. If we go into Audio Manager, we're going to do it by naming the clip a certain name. So we'll be able to find that clip later on that has that exact same name, and we'll be able to stop it. So first, we're going to put in my audio source dot name is set to clip dot name plus objects to play on object to play on dot name Now we're going to write the code to attach the sound to the correct game object in the hierarchy so that it can position itself when the game object you want to play the sound on moves, or when you move. So for that, we're going to write my audio source dot game object dot transform dot position is set to object to play on dot transform dot position so that actually sets the position of our audio source to the position of the game object we want to play on 
Now we're going to parent the audio to the game object so that if the game object moves, the object moves with it. My audio source dot game object dot transform dot parent this is set to object to play on dot game object dot transform. Now everything is set up to play at the correct position. Now let's continue on to the stop function. We need to actually create our own separate stop function. So we'll do that under the play function and call it public void stop sound pyramid. And that is going to take a string string is basically it's, it's a string of characters or, or a word string sound to stop name great so the code block so we need to create a local variable of a game object and call it sound to stop object so then we're going to set that to the game object that we just named. So now we need to find that game object in the hierarchy to be able to use it. So that will be game object dot find and that takes a name or a string which we have up above sound to stop name. Great. So now we have the game object that we're trying to stop the sound on. So now we call stop on the audio source. Sound stop object dot get component. And we're going to get the audio source on that game object. And we're going to call dot stop. Next, we're going to destroy that object so that we can clean up the scene. Destroy sound to stop object. So now we want to use this function. If we go down to turn light off, then we can actually use the stop sound function. Audio manager dot instance dot stop sound pyramid. And that takes a string. And the string is light hum clip dot name plus this game object dot name and that's it when we test out the game we should hear the audio stopping when you turn the light off and there you go if you're a music producer, subscribe to our channel and stay up to date on the latest PureMind tutorial videos, track breakdowns, elite sessions, and more. Visit us at PureMind.com.